When you look at the ingredient list in a lot of processed foods, it reads more like an inventory list for a chemistry lab than for a food product. Phosphoric acid, potassium chloride, disodium inosinate, xanthan gum. Food manufacturers use these chemicals to make your food look, smell, or taste a certain way, but are they good for you? Evidence suggests that the obesity epidemic is directly related to the amount of processed foods we are consuming. Estimates show that by 2030, the number of overweight and obese people will rise to one-third of the global population. And the major concern is that no country to date has successfully reversed the growth in obesity once it's allowed to develop. On today's episode, we'll take an in-depth look at the different types of processed foods from ultra-processed to minimally processed. We'll also give you some tips on how to recognize which processed foods are okay and which ones to avoid. Some might surprise you. This is a good one. Stay with us.